All right, here's some pictures of the, uh, this is a UK tape drive. This is the storm jib. It's pretty small. Comes back to maybe the shroud. Uh, it's pretty small, but it's nice. Nice sail in good shape. Not many hours on that. This is the jib that I usually ran with, which is a fairly lightweight, but uh, I've had it out in some really high winds and it's good strong. It's got a good shape to it. Um, it's got the original numbers on it. It's uh, yeah, it's in great shape, really. It's just no, no problems with that sail. It's a uh, tape drive, so it's got a tape track in the front. Um, this other jib is a little bit bigger. This one came from the F-126 short bus. Uh, I bought that from Matt Brief, who was selling some sails. We got new ones. He said he had one that was in pretty good shape, so I bought this one as an extra. It hasn't been switched over to the tape drive in the front, but um, I was considering turning it all all of it to Hanks. But so it's an extra sale that you can switch over to a tape drive or switch everything over to Hanks. It's in good shape, and uh, it's just gonna lay in there. And that's uh, about a tape there where it was probably rubbed against the shroud, but it's in nice shape where it hit the shroud. Probably wore a little bit, but he had it all repaired for me before he sent it to me. Oh, they're sitting out here in the yard. All in all, in good shape. They're 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 good sales. I mean, they're by no means new, but there's a lot of life left in them. Uh, let's see. Let's see the si relative sizes. You can see that uh, the one I got from Matt briefs underneath the other jib, and it's a little bit bigger, so you got a little bit more, a little bit more sail area there. Here's the uh, main sail, pulling this out. This is a pretty crisp sail. This is a full battened main. And I think that's made by a Harstick. Let's see, pull that out there. Yep. This one's crisp, in good shape. Original numbers on it. Good crisp crackly sail. Uh, reef points. Looks like three reef points there. Yeah, it's a hard stick. Oh, life. Let's see. The next shot. I'm going into the. Going to go over to the boat. The boat's located in uh, not too far away in a barn with my friend. There's a. Uh, as a uh, had a boat in here a while back, and then we took that boat out and put this one back in. So this Skylark's in here right now. It's in good shape. It's been out of the weather, but it's an open barn. So as open barns go, it doesn't really keep the boat that clean. It just keeps the weather off it. So it hasn't been out in snow or sun in the past two years. Uh, it's got VC17 bottom paint on it, and that can be touched up. But that's great paint. No problems with the keel. There's no problems with any Evelyn 26 keels that I know of. I've never heard of anything, any problems with any Evelyns, uh, any 26s anyway. There's the, uh, the mast, it's painted white, sitting on top of the boat there. You can see that all the rigging is attached to the mast, and the winches work great. Uh, Lumar, I think they are. Uh, looking inside the boat, uh, there's a bow, up in the bow. Here's the engine. The engine's nice and clean, runs great. I have no problems with that engine. Thing starts up and runs like a trooper. Uh, winterized it, with, flushed it, winterized it. It's all set. It spins freely. Just needs a battery. It's got a new oil filter on it, new oil in it. All the lines. Here's the spinnaker in the bag, all set to go. Here's some lines. That's the backstay adjuster sheets for the jib sheets. Uh, just looking back at the aft, there's uh, spinnaker sheets. Um, there is the boom vang, mechanical boom vang. Um, that's the length of the boom I'm running down right now. So there's the boom that's sitting inside the boat, all set to go, all the hardware's on it. Engine box or doghouse sitting on top of the engine there, forward bulkheads, um, in good shape. They've all been glassed in place. Windows are in great shape. You can see through them. They just need to be 
dirt cleaned off of them. They're clear. The headliner's in great shape. No problems with that falling down. Looking out the back, there's the stairs that come out. Uh, battery switch is good. Here's the engine controls. That's uh, that was the uh, I think the uh, adjuster for the. I can't remember. Now. But that's uh, the rudder back there, and the controls, the, the all electronics are no good. There's uh, the only thing that works is the um, compass. I still have the compass and Windex. I didn't really bother with all the electronic gizmo that goes into it. Uh, this is uh, the trailer. It's in great shape. It came from Boston all the way to Rochester over a load, over a road. So it's just like it was when it brought it from Boston. So it's ready to go on the road again to wherever you'd like to take it. There's a picture at the bottom, nice and clean. PC-17. Um, great shape. I sanded off all the old bottom paint, put PC-17. I made sure I 